Hi everybody, hello, happy Black History Month. I was wondering what to talk about this week and I decided to tell you all about the history of my home country, Ghana. Um, okay. Ghana gained independence in 1957, making her the first sub-Saharan country to be liberated from colonial rule. Who colonized Ghana and how did colonization supervene? So in 1471, the Portuguese were the first foreigners to arrive on the coast of Ghana. Momentarily, they discovered gold in astronomical amounts, albeit Ghana was given the name Gold Coast. What happened next was that the Portuguese initiated trade partnerships with the indigents. They then decided to build the Elmina Castle, which served as protection and a center for commercial trade. Out of this castle, precious minerals, and in the passage of time, slaves were transported from Ghana to the rest of the world. Due to the lucrativeness of the gold trade, Europeans like the English, the Dutch, and the British presented themselves as key players. In the spirit of heightened competition, they started to fight, leading to Britain emerging as the dominant European power on the Gold Coast. Now, at about the same time, the New World was discovered, fueling the demand for human labor on plantations. And so, Powerful Ghanaian chiefs and dominant ethnic groups like the Ashanti tribe captured and supplied slaves to European ships in exchange for manufa manufactured goods like mirrors, liquor, and basins. Then the Ashanti started to fight with the British. After several, several attempts, the British finally defeated the Ashantis in 1824 at the Battle of Ansamankor. Following the defeat of the Ashantis, the Bond of 1844 was signed between the British and eight Fanti chiefs. The signing of this bond signaled or signified a relinquish of power from the locals to the British. Ghana therefore became a former colony of Britain. Yes, after several years, several decades of colonization, the Kwame Nkrumah came into the limelight and he was invited by other members of the Big Sis. Later, Kwame Nkrumah broke out of the Big Six to form his own Convention People's Party. This is because while other members of the Big Six demanded self-government within the shortest possible time, Kwame Nkrumah wanted self-government now. Due to his, this philosophy of his, he faced opposition oppression, you name it, leading to his imprisonment. But after Kwame Nkrumah was released from prison, he continued to fight until he led Ghana into independence in the year 1957. Today, Ghana... Ghana, your beloved country is free forever.